Hey, Steve. Hey, John. Good morning. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. All things considered. Yeah, well, yes, we have to sort of stay positive here. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the New York Times on Sunday was full of stuff about vaccine and how long it's going to take. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Paul, Paul said, you know, historically, the average is like four years. Well, I mean, the most devastating pic, uh, picture they had in there was um, HIV has been around, give or take, 30 years. And they finally come up with two, three vaccines. One is 30% effective. One caused more illness than it solved. And the third one they had to take off because of it was too many side effects. So after yeah. 30 years, that's how, with all the money we put into that. They yeah, said, and, right. And because of B, B and C, you know, that it causes more harm and, uh, you know, that, that's where I'm really concerned, you know, that we're, everyone's going to rush to try to find a solution and people are going to end up getting more sick and then it just becomes a political shitstorm, you know, more than it already is. It really is amazing. But anyway, I've, I've, um, I'm sorry about all the people, of course, dying and, and all the poverty and everything else, but it's actually been a good time for me. I mean, you know, we had time to catch up on stuff and do yeah. things I've been wanting to do for a long time. And yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's funny how uh, it kind of has unfolded that way that, that it's created some opportunities for folks and, you know, for me, it just, you know, opened up my spiritual practices to a whole other mm -hmm. dimension. Uh, well, yeah, no, I've done, I've been going back to my yoga every day and my pranayama and, yeah. and um, we walked four miles with the dogs yesterday along the Potomac. That was nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. And um, the only talk about, what should I say? Um, sort of getting caught between different um, desires. Um, I, I went back to my first love of harpsichord playing uh, this, this recently, but I only have a harpsichord in DC and not in Virginia where Susan is, where I spent a lot of time. And so my harpsichord teacher said, don't play the piano, it ruins your harpsichord technique. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, <laughs> or isn't, isn't there a Marx Brothers scene where uh, Harpo, Harpo was the, uh, uh, Play, played the harpsichord, right? Was it okay. I think that was partly his name, where he got the, he played a beautiful, beautiful harpsichord. Oh, I didn't so know was, that. There's oh, one, no, it one was the harp. It was the harp? Yeah, I think it was the harp, wasn't it? I thought it was a harpsichord also. Maybe. Yeah, hi, Vita. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so I was going to say, you could break up your piano and kind of pull it out and make a, <laughs> Make a harpsichord of it. <laughs> I mean, uh, and I will say, I mean, a lot of this is purists, right? Because the piano technique is very different from harpsichord technique. But you know, so you pay you play the harpsichord in a piano style. It's not going to kill it. But yeah. it's much more beautiful when you play it with proper harpsichord technique. But still, it's um, anyway. Well, a minor frustration. <laughs> At least I got a harpsichord for the first time in thirty years. Anyway. Peter, how are you? How are you holding up? Talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. You doing okay? Yep. Good. Hey, uh, Steve, how are the kids? Everybody's good. Everybody's good. Thanks. Good. Yeah, and, and Emily? Oh, she's doing great. She started a new job right in the middle of all this. And oh. We set up a proper office for her and it's going very well, thank God. So. Hi, hey, Paul. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Jody. <laughs> <laughs> and we showed up, right? We got a minion, a quorum. Hey. Not a minion yeah. yet. Jody, I have to laugh. My uh, two dogs sit in armchairs next to me during these sessions. And it's probably one of the few times they're actually quiet. Oh, we'll, we'll see if my dog is quiet. I'm going to go get a scarf for my neck. It's a little cold. Hold up. Yeah, it lowered the air. Got a little humid. you need the air conditioner on? I did. <laughs> All right. 
I don't know. It seems like the heating <sighs> systems are going to stay on for a while. <sighs> yeah, it's supposed to get cold again this week, huh? A little chill. Yeah. To the middle of May, they said it's going to be way below average. So. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was a great tour portion today, yesterday, wasn't it? Chock full. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my cousins got bat mitzvah this weekend, so uh, it was all like through Zoom. Uh huh. So, I mean, it was very moving and touching, but it was like so sad, you know, the family couldn't be together. Yeah. And this was like the last kid in our generation of kids, you know? Uh huh. But they're going to have a party in August, hopefully. So, um, mm -hmm. just the innovation. They did a horror in the cul de sac of their house yesterday afternoon. People just drove around the cul de sac, and I don't know. Okay. All these like new rituals get, get getting created. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is different. Well, we were supposed to go to a big Jewish Mexican wedding in August, it was just canceled. Mm. Yeah. yeah, somewhere near Mexico City. I can't remember where. Hi, R can you introduce yourself? I'm sorry. It says Weiss V. I don't know the Vita. Uh, Vita. Hi, Vita. I'm Paul. I don't know how to change that. It, I'm on my work computer, and that's the way it comes out on my work computer. Yeah, if you click the little right hand icon at the top right hand corner of your photo, you can rename yourself. Like if you, it doesn't matter for today, but if you scroll up to the top, there's like a little um, blue square with three dots. If you kind of put your cursor right on the upper right hand corner of your photo. I'm doing it now. Yeah, you can change your name. I'm a comb, but they call me Maki. Thank you very much. I've been wanting to do that, but I didn't know how to do that. Already we're having transformation and learning. <laughs> All this time I thought it would be it would be a good thing for me to introduce myself to people, but my name hasn't been up there all this time. It's just been V Weiss or Weiss V or whatever. Well we need to have a bunch of 30 year olds help us, that's all. <laughs> good morning, Wendy. Hey Wendy. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are you today? Hi. Good. Good. <coughs> Grateful for this this opportunity. Good. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Really Rachel. Wonderful. Oh, hi, Rachel. So we got hi, a couple. Rachel. She's staying muted and off video. Yep, yep. All good. Perfect. So, Steve, do you want to start? Should we give it a couple minutes or? Yeah, let's give it a couple minutes. I have. Still have like three minutes. Yeah. On my. Yeah, one minute on my phone and the other. Like we rely more on the. the Phone numbers on, uh, not the phone numbers, the our for the record, devices rather than said, our watches. <laughs> we we're starting on time. The Zoom worked. This is our second. This is our fourth session, and the second week in a row that the Zoom worked perfectly. So that's yes, it's a good thing. It's much more relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Paul, do you want to put the um, in the chat the lyric, yeah. the words to the chant, or yes, okay. <laughs> thank you. I do want to do that. Thanks for the reminder. I was going off into my zone. That's okay. Uh, if I can figure out how to do it now. Okay, we'll get started like in a couple minutes. Do -do. Jody, why don't you, can you start us in like a little, like, you know, the rhythm of it, the Nagunish kind of line? Or... Let's see. Hi, everyone. Welcome. We're going to get started in a minute or two. Um, one of the Moda Ani melodies just popped in my head. I can start with that. Moda Ani Lifanecha. Moda Ani Lifanecha. Moda Ani Lifanecha. Moda ani lifanecha, Moda ani lifanecha, Moda ani lifanecha, Moda ani lifanecha. Moda ani lifanecha, Moda ani lifanecha, Moda ani lifanecha, Moda ani lifanecha, Moda. Ani lifanecha, Okay. Welcome, everyone. Good morning. I was going to say Shabbat Shalom, but it's not Shabbat, but this is the Shabbat Shalom hour. Um, this is a weekly uh, practice uh, offered by Macomb at Home from a Dach Shalom congregation. And Jody, Steve, and I are leading this. This is our fourth weekly session, and we're doing it in honor and in coordination with the counting of the Omer. And so, uh, I'm gonna just uh, create this as like a sacred ritual space for us to be together for this. The first 30 minutes is the formal program. We do stay on for a second half hour to continue the practice and to debrief and discuss and reflect on our experience. So you're welcome to stay, but it's, you're also welcome to sign off at the 1030 mark, which there'll be a clear demarcation with that. So I'm just lighting a candle. Um, it's a scented candle uh, that brings forward creativity and confidence. So just to create sacred space with all of us here today. <clears throat> so my name is Pesach or Paul Zeitz. Um, and uh, today is the 24th day of the Omer, uh, third week, third day. And it's the ninth of ER in the Jewish calendar. Uh, and today, the energies that we're cultivating are Teferit Sheved Netzach. Um, Teferit is that central kind of balancing zone between Chesed and Gevora that we worked on in the prior weeks. And now we're in, uh, you know, with the ener we're cultivating the energy of Netzach, which is a, you know, complicated energy. It's interpreted different ways in terms of persistence or eternity. I like, I, I like victory, um, so beauty with victory. Um, it's like a stance, it's like a persistence. Um, so uh, the idea for today is to, you know, figure out what, what these words, what this intention is for you. And uh, the chant and the meditation are 
you know, for us to cultivate whatever medicine or whatever healing energy that we may need. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, go ahead. I'm trying to unmute, to mute everyone except Luke Paul. So I'm going to mute everybody and you unmute yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're good. And Jody, where's Jody? There she is. Okay, you can unmute yourself too. Um, Okay, great. So today, uh, the chant that we're going to start with is called Trust in You. Uh, and this is a chant uh, that comes from the line in the Psalms, Yom Ira Ani Elecha Etach, from Psalm 56. Uh, it's, it, it's translated in English as, in, in the very day that, that I fear, I will put my trust in you. Uh, this is a bit of an experiment. Rabbi Shefa Gold, who is our teacher, Chef Jody and I, uh, one of our teachers, and you know, she just created this chant. It's like brand new. It just got released uh, last week. She's not taught it yet. Uh, she's going to teach it at a Thursday night Zoom this week. And Jody and I wanted to immerse ourselves in it um, and then bring it forward to all of you. So, uh, you know, it's a, you know, I'm still exploring the chant and how it works within me. Uh, but the idea of uh, taking on a sense of fear, noticing fear when it arises, and also understanding that fear also has a dis disguises. It can look like anger or cynicism or irritability or numbness, anxiety or tension, all these ways that fear manifests. And the idea is when you notice the fear, uh, this chant, like the medicine for it, uh, what it's been doing. I mean, I literally chanted this like for eight hours yesterday, like throughout my whole day. And I was just like uh, experiencing that whenever I was in my kind of fear state, I was disconnected. And when I did this chant, I was able to open that channel of connection and feel that uh, beloved love force that uh, soothes me and you know, uh, I, I think of that as being, you know, the beauty of being connected to the transcendent light uh, that got cultivated from the magic of this chant. Um, so we're going to do this for a while um, and, you know, clear our minds. And uh, Jody's going to lead us in the chant, but I encourage you all to, uh, you know, chant along. Um, and then uh, we're gonna like go right into a meditation. So after the chant, that's the quiet time where the medicine of the chant goes within you, the collective energy that we're creating can be transformative and then Steve will guide us in a lovely sweet meditation. And then we'll, we'll do the chant again at the end of his meditation and then wrap up the 1030 half hour. And then if you would like to see the lyrics, um the words, you can open up your chat box and Paul has written them in there, the transliteration. Okay, over to you, Jerry. Okay. So once you get the, the melody down, just um, please start chiming in and chanting along. And we'll probably go for about 10 minutes. Steve, is that good? Okay. <clears throat> Yom Hera, 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 Yom Hera. Ani alecha evtach, ani lecha evtach, ani alecha evtach, ani lecha evtach, yom ira. Yom Ira, 
Yamira, 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 Ani Alecha, Eftach, Ani Alecha. Eftach, ani elecha. Eftach, ani elecha. Eftach, yom hira, yom hira, yom hira.
Yom Ira, Yom Ira, Yom Ira, Yom Ira. Ani Elecha, Eftav. Ani Elecha. sit in silence and let the chant do its medicine.
So if we just continue this uh, deep, deep, beautiful breath, this breath that has um, allowed us to stay present to God, to the eternal, in the face of fear, and just feel the deep breath in our belly area, and just continue deep belly breathing. Imagine that there's a beam of light that's radiating from the base of our spine up to the crown of our head. That light is our true purpose. There's an intelligence to that light. And in that light, there's also a field of protection, of guardianship for each of us. And at this time, we hold each other in this field of this light. We hold each other in a field of protection, safety. And this light is touching the deep belly breathing. And we recognize that in our bellies, we hold thousands, thousands of nerve fibers, the most nerve fibers anywhere in our body or in our tummy area. And as we breathe deeply into the belly area, those nerve fibers hold past memories, remnants, skeletons of trauma. And as we practice our deep belly breathing, we're healing, we're healers, all of us. And we're healing ourselves for that which we're aware and that which we're not aware of. And that light is penetrating deep into those areas. And the field that we're holding for each other is enabling this to occur. So Netzach, which some say is in our right leg or right knee, and some say represents eternity. I view it as shaping our shaping a bright future for ourselves. We lead with our legs. Hode is the opposite, splendor, which we'll cover next week. But Netzach leads, Netzach is representative of Moses, overcoming his fear, becoming present to God, trusting God. trusting in you. So we maintain this perfect balance centered in our heart and tefira. And we're just going to stay in shalom, 
as a sound, Sha, entering our body, entering our knees, entering our heart, entering our bellies, and loam, holding each other in a field, holding ourselves in a field. Collectively as healers, healing our own traumas, healing past traumas, healing each other's traumas so that we're clear, we're light, we're vibrant, we're healthy to take on the tasks that we need to be taking on. And we'll come out in a few minutes with Jody closing with the chant. Yam ira, 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 ani elecha. Ani Alecha Evta Ani Alecha Evta Ani Alecha Evta Yom Ira Yom Ira Yeah. 
Om Thank you, everyone. That ends the formal first 30 minutes. So you're welcome to stay on. We're going to stay on and sit for a few more minutes, and then we're going to share our experience from the chat, and then we'll probably do another round of it at the end before you sign off. Thank you all. You're welcome, Alexis. Take good care. So as people are just settling in and still being quiet, I wanted to offer that today is National Smile, Smile Day. And um, so one of the things I like to do in my meditations is that we, we feel the smile inside ourselves. We don't have to show it in our face right away, but feel that inner smile. And, and just to remind everybody that children are noted to smile 40 times a day. So that is our minimum goal, not only today, but every day during the <laughs> pandemic. It, it is a mitzvah. It is a mitzvah to smile 40 times or more. So go and do good, don't do good work. <laughs> and I'm really thankful for everybody being here today. Thank you, Steve. Thank sure. you, Jody. Thank you. Yes, thank Paul. you. Yes, thanks, everyone. It was wonderful. This thanks, Carol. Carol and Carol. Yeah. yeah. It really makes a difference mm -hmm. inside me. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful way to start the day. And I see it's being recorded. Is this one that you could send out to us? Jody's chanting was beyond perfect. Oh. <laughs> Is it being recorded? Yeah, I guess we could. <laughs> if we could figure it out. With that, forever. I loved it so much. Thanks, Mel. It's great being with you again. You too, thank you. Yeah. In fact, I felt a little guilty because another KZ friend is doing a similar thing at 10 a.m. And I've gone to her thing so many times in Philly and I wrote to her, I've been committing to go to Paul's group. I'm really sorry, you know, but I love this group. <laughs> and um, there, Paul had put um, in the chat um, a link to go to Shefa Gold's website, um, and you can click on that. Um, she also has an app called, called Flavors of Gratefulness, I think it's called. Uh, yes, um, Flavors of Gratefulness. And there's, on that app, there's something like, um, let me see. 65 different melodies for the Moda Ani chant, and you can download it. And in the morning when you wake up, you can click on that and it'll have the melody of the day. And um, there's a place where you can um, press a little heart to say that your favorite melody. So let's say one comes on that you're not, that's not speaking to you that day. You can always pick one that you've found that you like. Um, and that's a wonderful way to start the day. A lot of times when I'm driving in the car, which I'm not doing anymore, <laughs> um, I would listen to that in the car. So um, it's a beautiful way, uh, ritual to start the day, to be grateful for the day. I'm also on the social solidarity email that goes out. There is a a link to all the recordings of all the Macomb at Home sessions mm. that you just have to click once. It's at the end of the little purple Macomb session. There, there you go, Carol. Thank you. Wonderful.
Yeah. I, I didn't realize we were being recorded. Um, should, um, at the end of the formal chant, should we unrecord so if people want to share their things could be shared, you know? Like end, it, uh, end the recording from now on at like 1030 and then this will be just private. I could, I could pause the recording right now. We want to start. Right? Yeah, that's a, 